Today is day one of our spring breeding. So we've got a group of heifers. We've got 35 heifers that we're going to breed. Uh, we're setting them up today, putting cedars in and giving them a shot of GNRH. Uh, in seven more days, we'll pull the cedars out. And then a few days later, we'll start breeding them. But uh, we've got these set up. They'll start calving about February, uh, right around Valentine's Day next year. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get these heifers caught, run them through the squeeze chute, put the cedar in, give them a shot, and get these, uh, get the breeding process started. So we're getting all set up. We've got our cedars, which are the progesterone that we'll be inserting in the back of these heifers. Eric's getting shot ready. We'll be giving two milliliters of Factrail, which is the GNRH. With an inch and a half needle to make sure to get it deep in the muscle. We've got our cedar applicators over here. This is disinfectant, so after each application, it goes back into this bucket. That way, we're not passing anything from heifer to heifer. So this is one of the cedars that we're putting in. It's a progesterone. This is, take it, take your applicator. And what we have found, according to the directions, if you have a button, put that button down. It will wrap the string down and underneath. Slide it into the, gets to the big tip end. Put lube on it. That's what it looks like before you apply it. You always want to make sure the bulb of vagina area is clean if you can. You put it in at a 30 to 35 degree angle. Once you get in and flatten off, go until the slip disappears. I always put my finger there to hold in case it's trying to come back with a gun. You always want that string facing down. If it's facing up like this, another calf can grab that with a mouth and pull it out because they pull out pretty easily. They do recommend on the paperwork and the instructions that if it's too long, you can trim some, but we don't usually run into that as long as you get it facing down. And then we just give her a shot with her back drill. Again, we do that with an inch and a half needle to make sure it gets plenty deep in the muscle. Take the squeeze off and let it out. Last time we bred, we had the old pre-fruit squeeze chute. So this is our first round of setting up for breeding with our new air equipped chute. One of the things we can see with this that works so well is it's 
is so much longer than what the prefit was. So when I when I open this roll gate, which slides, you see that with just a couple of fingers. These cats have so much room in here, it's not a chore to get them to go in. When we had that prefit chute, it's about this long without the pap cage. So you're asking the calf to go in, plus you're up there with a head gate, but even if you press it in, then you're trying to shut the butt gate back here and she's got about six inches of a rump past it. So with this being so long, I'll show you, I'll push this next calf. This calf's not stressed at all because it's got so much room. So then it's easy to shut the gate and then we can control the head gate from back here and you're not in the flight zone of that. I've got the gate closed up. So there's plenty of room in there. Let's see if we can get her to go up. It's natural because we're not in that in the face of the animal asking her to come forward. Natural flight is only the cow is to walk past the cow, which is what you're doing. When they come in, you're already past them, so they want to go out the front. It's right at noon. Uh, the morning started about 5.30, so we had to go through and pick up chickens. Our chickens are about two weeks old. So we had to go through all eight chicken houses, get all those picked up, and then came over to our barn where we do most of our cattle work and breeding. So doing pretty good to get all that done by lunchtime. If you look real close, you can see all the blue strings hanging out. This breeding will be a little bit different for us. Eric's gonna actually be doing all the breeding. He went to a class up in Calhoun about two months ago, right as coronavirus was kind of getting started and it's a two day course and learned how to breed. Uh, we got all our supplies. I was supposed to go to Nashville about a month ago, but it got postponed until the fall. So all the breeding is gonna rely on this guy right here. We can get it done, no problem. We got faith in him. He better hope he can get it done. We've got the heifers back in their pasture. Let them calm down a little bit. We'll be back in seven days. We'll pull them out, give them a shot, like I said, and uh, get ready to breed them. So we'll see you on the next video.